Unidentified aerial phenomena are a potential national security threat. They need to be investigated, and many threats they pose need to be mitigated. Ten of our nuclear ICBMs were rendered inoperable. At the same time, a glowing red orb was observed overhead. There are a number of, uh, of events in which we do not have an explanation, in which the, and there are a small handful in which there are flight characteristics or signature management um, that we can't explain with the data that we have. All right, that was from yesterday's UFO hearing, which was the first in more than 50 years. Look who is here. Michio Kaku, ACE physicist, joins us this morning. All right, Michio, right from the start, is there something out there? Well, you know, 50 years ago, people concentrated on eyewitness accounts by members of the public who said they saw something in the sky. That's not enough. Now we have hours of videotapes of seasoned Navy pilots documenting things that can now be analyzed frame by frame. These objects, whatever they are, can travel between Mach 5 and Mach 20. That's 20 times the speed of sound. They can zigzag and maneuver, creating G-forces several hundred times the force of gravity. They can drop 70,000 feet within a matter of seconds, and get this, they can even swim underwater. And so we don't have technologies capable of doing any of these things. Now, we do have hypersonic drones. In fact, the Russians are using these hypersonic drones against the Ukrainians uh, in, the, in their battle. Now, however, these drones cannot do the kind of gymnastics that we see these objects doing. So right now, we are clueless clueless as but, to what could be behind these objects, but if, given the fact they seem to exceed the capabilities of our finest craft. But doesn't that imply that there must be something out there? Because we cannot explain the movement of the craft, which we see by military observers on camera, frame by frame. That must mean that there is something out there. Well, that's, that's a possibility. Uh, the military what? What? laid out five, five alternatives. The fifth one was other, and other includes extraterrestrial visitation. Okay, one last one. If we did make contact with aliens, um, we really did make contact with aliens, should we be told about it? I think we are mature enough to be able to understand the implications. It would be one of the greatest, greatest turning points in the history of humanity if one day we find conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations in our backyard in the Milky Way galaxy. So I think that we have Hollywood movies that point in a certain way, but I think that we're not politically ready for it. I right. think our politicians are dragging their feet. They're sitting on a pile of videotapes that they have not yet released. Okay. And I think the, the government knows a lot more than they let on. Uh, great stuff, Michio. I wish I had more time. I could talk about this forever. But we hope to see you again real soon. Thanks so much.